peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. If this is your first time on He Rants, I want to let you know I'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that inter- 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 interests me, right? And I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. I know it didn't sound very confident the way I just said that. It, it just went a little bit weird and wonky and stuff. But you should you should know that I, I'm informing you guys with good stuff. Like, this is just... It's, I'm not starting over. We're going straight through this. We're going straight through this. All right? No, we should, we should start over. Okay, I decided I'm not starting over. We're still running through this. I know we stopped it. And maybe we should have started over. No, we're going to it. Man, if that sounds good to you, man, hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way you'll be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure. Those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Email me, description box below. But let's not waste no more time, man. We got another reaction video, man. We are reacting to this group of individuals by the name, uh, I think they're called eight, eight, from, 8 on the Table. 8 on the Table, but they put an 8 instead of like or maybe it means there's eight people i'm not sure i need to take time to count i'm not gonna count why why i graduated college i don't need to count right unless it's money and hoes you always have to count your hoes you know what i'm saying because if you don't if you don't count your hoes it's, it, it gets a little weird right but the, the 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 focus of this video right they're pretty much talking about um asking too many questions right when you're with your significant other be it your girlfriend uh boyfriend you know uh, married couple friends with benefits i guess or any type of relationship right not to ask too many questions they're, they're specifically talking about lover relationships and stuff like that right uh not to ask too many questions and stuff right and hey listen uh, i think it's gonna be very interesting to see what we have right here it's a tiktok it's only about a minute long so let's get into it all right that Okay, I'm I'm tripping. So I don't know why I, I, I did that. Like, what? Let's let's get into it. That that it, it, it was before we even start. You probably can't see it because I haven't put it up on the on the screen yet. But the girl who's gonna start talking, she's wearing some boots that come all the way up to her knees, and I'm just always wondering why do girls wear those high ass boots? I know some people find it very attractive, but for me, I've just seen it. it's weird. It's almost like you're trying to walk through a big puddle and trying to make sure your your legs don't get wet or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It is what it is, though, right? Let's start. I would say that a man should just not ask too many questions. Mm -hmm. Because when you ask a lot of questions, That's how you get hurt. that is what, one, you get hurt. And two, you find out some shit you don't want to know. And three, you're more inclined to get lied to. Mm -hmm. So, like, keep your questions to, like, a three and not an eight or a nine. Somebody want to the streets man hey listen the street coalition man <laughs> they're bringing in crazy members nowadays man and it seems like they're evolving as time goes by um listen if, there, if there's no red flags being shown here I, I don't know what what a red flag is right i don't know what a red flag is because my goodness um is she attractive definitely would you mess with her no 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 this girl's the interstate uh, i don't know what interstate she is uh i don't know what street she is but she's definitely a part of the streets she might be a bridge she might be a bridge between the streets and married life. I'm not sure. But either way, that bridge is not a bridge that I want to drive through, right? If you catch my drift, right? Because it might be unstable. How dare she say that, son? Don't ask too many questions, right? But hey, listen, let's be fair, right? At the same time, as a man, if my girl was to ask me a question, who is this girl on your phone by the name of Margaret, right? I could tell her the truth and say, listen, I'm smashing somebody's grandmother named Margaret, right? I could tell her that, but I'm not going to tell her that, right? I can be inclined to lie to her, right? She wouldn't like that if she was my girlfriend and I told her that, you know, well, Margaret is nobody. She's just somebody from, I don't know, Sunday practice or something like that. I don't know, Sunday practice, Sunday's church service or something. I don't know, son. She wouldn't like that, right? But just off the fact that she's saying that is crazy to me. And she's saying you'd be more inclined to lie, be lied to. It makes me believe that you are just out here doing some scandalous stuff. What were you doing in your past that I cannot ask you questions? You floozy? I'm sorry. I, I, I tried not to call her a name, but I had to. I mean, I already said this stuff. I called her an interstate and a, and a bridge. So, I mean, I already called her names. So, yes, a floozy. You floozy? What, what is. I'm trying to understand. So, why can't I ask you questions? And the, the fact that you say you're going to lie to me, this is an automatic no ring for you. No ring for you. No ring. 
hit my lip with the mic no ring for you you get no ring son you get no altar you we are not walking down the aisle no one there's not going to be throwing rice there's not going to be a flower girl there's not going to be a ring bearer because you're not getting a ring you're not getting wifed up at all son this girl is a a walking red flag i'm talking about a walking red flag red card fifa world cup boom get her out of here son no she can't play the next game get her out of here son this is this is diabolical scandalous even and then he had the girl in the background also yelling out and saying like oh yeah blah, blah. she put in her two cents nobody asked for her two cents that means they're in cahoots with each other son it's a four-way intersection it's a four-way intersection man she's one street and the other street combined they combine together they meet in the middle son like the streets intended this is diabolical Somebody want to feel like they're interrogated. Somebody just said somebody asking a question. So like, just like men don't want to feel interrogated or jumped on, right. like we don't want to feel that way too. Especially if you're a woman who has been living your life. Right. Like you, <laughs> you, ain't, like, you ain't answering to nobody. Yeah. Ain't nobody paying your bills. Right. Like you do what you want to do. When the fuck you want to do. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, huh? you know, it's it's no. No. Hold on. Hold on. No. I'm, I'm saying period. This is me as a married woman talking. This is me when I was single. I don't. Oh my God. Yo, she. <clears throat> oh my God. She's married. Hey, yo, no, she's she's married. She's married. She's married. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. Ah, ah. Commercial break. Commercial break, my heart. Welcome back, guys. Um, I had to step away a little bit. Something in my heart was, was twitching. I thought I was going to die. Probably with a blood clot or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but just hearing the fact that this woman came out and she said that she is married, uh, I am shocked and flabbergasted, right? Definitely flabbergasted. So that means that if I was the husband, of this woman i would definitely want to figure out what the hell is going on here what is it that you have to tell me because off the strength of what she said before that i was living my life i didn't have to answer nobody doing stuff to me that's cold word for i was for the streets i was out here in the highway just out here giving pussies away like i'm oprah winfrey in a freaking show son you get some pussy you get some pussy you get some pussy. everybody is getting pussies huh? that's what i'm hearing from this right so now in my mind i'm saying hey, wait a minute son did i wipe up a tatalina did i wipe up wipe up a Dottenstein, son because this is very embarrassing because this is a representation of their marriage right there right and saying don't ask too many questions so at that point i would think that hmm did i not ask enough questions and then if i did ask her a lot of questions were, were she lying to me this whole time who is this person who is this individual? And you see, you see, you see the comment I made in the beginning, right? About her boots. Now I want to ask you: When you see girls with those type of boots, the boots that start from the ankle go all the way up to their kneecaps, can you trust individuals with those type of boots? Right? Are they trustworthy? Why are they wearing those type of boots? What is the purpose of those boots? Hmm? You can't answer that, right? You can't answer that, and she can't either. Why? Because she doesn't like to be asked too many questions. These are the problems. All this stuff is aligning together, son, and I am sick to my stomach. Sick to my stomach. I want to throw up. I want to throw up, son. This is, this is, this is, this is oh, scandalous. Scandalous. I need to hear more. Like answering a lot of fucking questions. Me too. Period. Period. So what am I supposed to do if I want to know something? It depends on what you want to know. Like, like use context clues. Like, 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 ask, ask. Just listen. Like, I'm just saying, like, don't be so abrasive or aggressive with the questions. Like, I'm just, not marrying you then. No, I mean, I'm not. I can't ask ask my wife. I can't ask my wife. If no. I die, my you're, money goes to you. You're, I'm, ta you're, you're I'm taking, I'm not out taking it nowhere. How can I marry you? and can ask you what I you're want. My wife. Hey, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> thank God for a dude there, bruh. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure if that dude was gay because he sounded... He sounded kind of spicy. He definitely sounded spicy. I'm not sure. But I'm not out here to shame men. Right? I'm not 
on some but he definitely sounded spicy and then the outfit too looked kind of like i'm trying to be spicy but at the same time i'm not trying to let anybody know i'm really spicy so, okay enough of him let's get back to her right see he says straight up i'm not gonna marry you right this dude if if her husband is watching this joint right now he is embarrassed he's like oh my goodness oh my goodness bro i wiped up a thought I wiped up a thought. Son, like it's just crazy to me. Son, like how this is the problem that I'm realizing. Right, now. a lot of dudes out here are settling. Right? Yes, you can make the excuse that a lot of women out here settling with some guys that they have no business settling with. But men, some of these men are settling with some joints. The girl is attractive. She's definitely attractive. Right? I'm pretty sure that all he saw when he saw her was his ass and boots. I'm not letting these boots go. All right? Those boots are not getting. I'm not. I'm not getting off the boots. All right, but yeah, that's probably all he saw was ass and boots, man. And like I said, she's attractive, so he probably looked past all the red flags because this girl is just laying down the red flags and just you know decided to just go ahead and put a ring on, son, which is freaking crazy to me, son. Because then, then this makes me wonder I want to know if this guy is out here possibly cheating, also, right? Because for somebody to, to fall in line and be able to wipe somebody like this, it makes me think i'm hoping either one he's a simp either way you can somewhat say he's a simp or two he's doing his own dirt and he doesn't even care right he just so like is whatever she can do whatever she wants because i'm doing me right still stupid in my opinion still stupid in my opinion but it's crazy right me to be honest with you man I, I feel like i feel like all relationships need to have a good amount of questions asked between right that's the point of dating if you're not asking a lot of questions what's the point of the dating process you might as well just pick up a random person off the street and decide hey i want to marry you it doesn't work that way son you have to vet the individual you have to throughout the whole relationship especially before you propose you want to vet the person make sure this, what is your views on this what have you done in the past your prior relationships why what, what was the reason why you broke up with those people son? or they broke up with you I need to know these red flags, right? Because anytime, for me, right? Anytime I see a girl who's attractive and single, right? And they're like 28 years old. I always want, I like, why Why are you so pretty, but you're single? Like a lot of these Instagram models, I'd be like, bro, you're so pretty. Why are you single? Those are red flags to me, son. Because pretty girls get scooped up like that. Because dudes, you see the joint that's attractive. You want to. So I, I always ask those questions. I'm trying to figure out like, what is it? Eventually, most of the time you find out that joint is crazy, son. That joint is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous, man. Cause, but this, this is just, this is just, this is why I say sometimes I feel like Sims. Sims make the rest of the men look bad, man. It makes the rest of the men look bad. I'm happy that the dude, the gentleman to the side, man, the spicy outfit guy. I'm happy that he was out here and call her on her BS. Like, bro, I'm not marrying you. Why can't if I can't ask you questions? What type of relationship is that, son? What type of relationship is that? That means you can basically do whatever you want. And then if I actually join you, be, you'll be liable to lie to me, son. So where's the trust? How can I trust you? How I don't really want to know how Cuz married this joint, son. How did he marry this joint, son? I'm not like, bro. If he doesn't get a divorce after this, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna call him PJ Washington number two. Hopefully he don't got too much money. Hopefully she's the breadwinner, son. Cause that is that is shocking. That is shocking. So, and clearly she has a she has a high body count. We know that goes without saying. I don't need to do research. I don't need to know her just based on what she's just saying, what's spewing on her mouth. She has a very very high body count, and she probably doesn't want her husband to know about how many dudes have been penetrating her cave. You know what I'm saying? How many explorers, Indiana Jones, her cave? Endless, endless, man. I'm telling you that that joint ain't no pyramids, ain't no sarcophagus uh, uh, or whatever how you whatever you say that joint. Son. That joint is not deep in the pyramids and stuff like that you gotta search no 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 this is a regular cave this is uh Larray caverns i don't know if you guys know what Larray caverns is. it's a little spot that people it's just a regular cave that people tour hundreds of thousands of people tour that joint a year that's her joint. that's her cave right there son that's the cave hundreds of thousands of men and women touring through that joint you feel me it's crazy it's ridiculous man but that's all i gotta say on this man um man stay safe out there by the way man if you stay this long i appreciate you i love you make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification that way those be one of the first to hear the voice same time leave a like because i'm so damn insecure and those likes definitely let me know i'm doing a stand-up job same time gotta buy the merch mofo men offering females orgasms because we're so humble link well not really a link but the email email me in the description box below and i'll make sure you get a shirt or hat or whatever merch she want you know what i'm saying and that's all i gotta say peace and blessings you ugly mofos and i'm out uh, 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 uh.